Hello, beautiful family. I just had a, a man was sat behind me. He was waiting for his wife, and a, he talked to me. And um, he's so such a lovely man. He, he said he's, the, the, his wife came, and they said they were both on the fence. I just prayed for them. Please pray for them. In fact, join me right now in prayer for them. Dear loving Heavenly Father, we pray that you will touch those that couple with so much of your presence today, your love and your grace. Lord God, and your peace. Let them know that you are the way, the truth, and the life, Lord Jesus. Today I pray they, know, they will know that you are the Lord and that you love them, Lord. Please envelop them in that love all day long. Fill them with hope in Jesus' name. Amen. Right, here we go, guys. Keep getting a very dry mouth. Drank nearly all that already. I just stick some chewing gum in my mouth and then just help, helps to work up some saliva. Mm. Right, here we go, guys. God bless you, Bridlington. I am sent here to tell you that God loves you. I've sent, been sent to tell you how simple it is for you to be saved and know that you're going to heaven. Because there's only one name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved and it is the Lord Jesus Christ who said, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the devil, the God of this age, the father of lies, he comes only to steal and to kill and destroy. And he's on overtime, overtime, trying to distract you away from the Lord Jesus so that you don't believe the truth of the gospel, so that you don't get saved and that you end up in hell. That's the devil's job, to deceive you, to lie to you, to trick you, to make you believe that we were, we come from monkeys or, or that aliens put us here or whatever. The devil will try everything and anything to deceive you and distract you away from the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, and what he did for us on the cross. For all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life. Eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord for everybody that believes no matter what you have done. No matter how much evil you have done, it doesn't matter. Turn to the Lord Jesus because he's promised that he will not turn anybody away. All he wants is to know that you believe in your heart what he did for us. How that Jesus died for all our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the gospel. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and you're not afraid or ashamed to call upon Jesus and believe in your heart that he died for you. He shed his blood on that cross for your sin. He rose again from the dead. Believe it in your heart. You'll be justified. Call upon Jesus and you will be saved because God wants all to be saved. He wants none to perish. That's what the Word of God tells you. I don't know what the churches are telling you, but I'm telling you the truth that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. We are in the season for the rapture to take place, which is when the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain are going to be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. This is our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, Jesus Christ, 
He's coming to rescue us out of this world, all who have ever believed on him. It's called the rapture, commonly referred to as the rapture, when he catches all people who have believed on him up into heaven to safety before the great tribulation apocalypse period begins which will be seven years when God will pour out his wrath and his judgments upon an unbelieving, unrepenting, God-hating world which refuses to acknowledge our Holy Father in heaven who loves us so much that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever, whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Please be a whosoever. Don't be ashamed. Don't be afraid. Turn to the Lord Jesus. Don't be a mocker. Don't be a scoffer. Believe the truth. Because this is so important. It's your eternity we're talking about. This life is just a, 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 a flash in the pan. That's what it is. We're here for a moment and then we fly away, the Bible says. When we die, we will go to the judgment seat of the Almighty God. And if you don't have Jesus in your life to have paid the debt for your lifetime of sin, then you won't make it into heaven. But you find yourself in hell. That's why I'm here to try to urge you and implore you to believe on the Son of God who died on that cross for all our sin. A lifetime of sin, by the way. It means our past, present, and future sin. The blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. So when you believe this, that he died for you on that cross, when you believe it, you know it's true. You know it's true that he rose again from the dead and you call upon him, boom, you'll be saved. And you realize that was the best thing you ever did. The most important thing you ever did was to lay hold of your eternal salvation and security by believing the truth of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. For the Son of Man, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, has come to seek and to save that which was lost. The devil, Satan, he wants to deceive you, steal, kill and destroy. That's his job. He's the father of lies. He's the God of this age. And this age of dispensation of God's grace is coming to an end. We are living in the final moments of the end of this age. Jesus Christ is coming. And then, according to the prophet Isaiah, this world shall be turned upside down during the great tribulation apocalypse. And you don't have to be here for what's coming upon this world, if you will, but believe the gospel. Believe that Jesus died on the cross for you, for your sin, that he was buried, that he rose again from the dead. Believe it. Know that it's true. Call upon him and you'll be saved and you'll be taken up to heaven in the rapture when the Lord Jesus descends from heaven and gathers all believers up into heaven in the rapture. Don't be left behind because it's going to be terrible. I'm telling, telling you, I'll come here to warn you and to tell you, please, if you haven't believed on Jesus already, then do so now, because this world is about to get really, really ugly. I'm telling you now, please repent, change your mind, believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. All God wants is he's looking at your hearts, whether or not you will receive the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, for everybody that believes. And it doesn't matter what you've done. All the evil that you've done in this life, it doesn't matter if you turn to the Lord Jesus, he will welcome you with open arms, no matter what you have done. Turn to him, call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible says that he's not far from each and every one of us. So seek him, call upon him. The Bible says, ask and you shall receive. The Bible says, seek and you will find. The Bible says, knock and the door shall be open unto you. So seek the Lord while he may be found and call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. 
let him return unto the Lord and unto our God, for he will abundantly pardon. He will abundantly pardon, forgive, and wrap his arms of love around you, all because you believed on him. That's all. That's all God wants, is for you to believe what Jesus did for us on the cross. For we have all sinned. I've done terrible things in my life. I'm, I'm humble enough to, to, to tell you all. Yes, of course. Of course, we've all sinned. We've all sinned like the Bible says. I have sinned. I've done some terrible things. But I accepted what Jesus did for me on that cross. And I am now forgiven. I am now a new man. But all have sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. The Bible says that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. What's the matter, sir? Can I help you? Come over here. Are you alright? You, you believe me? You're a born again believer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you on the streets or something? Yeah, it looks like you are. Let me see if I can just... Oh, oh, what? The Bible says we have all sinned. And if any man says that he has no sin, he deceives himself and the truth is not in him. If we say that we have not sinned, we are calling God a liar. That's the truth, that's what the Bible says. Well, just, just hang on a minute, I'll give us, I saw it once. God is good. How many minutes are we on now? I'll turn it off now. I should have turned it off before I did that actually, but God bless you all. I'll start another one. I'm getting into it now. I feel the Holy Spirit fire of the Lord upon me. <laughs> Here we go. Off with this one and on to the next. <laughs> 